Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I will be reverting back from straight to curly. This is a flat iron I've had for the past month and a week. And it's so pretty, but I'm ready to let it go. It's super dirty and it's just time to go. All right, guys, I've been natural for almost seven years coming up Easter weekend. Time flies and I'm pretty impressed with how this hair lasted so long. Should probably do like a little length check or something, but let's take out all these clips. <laughs> Wait. So, you know, looks pretty good. Could keep it a little longer, but I'm just tired of it now. So let's do what we gotta do. So I'll be sectioning the hair off and adding a bit of my Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tangle Conditioner and just watching it revert back. So let's get started. I know it's been a while. Everyone has been asking me where I have been. However, uh, I moved, got a new home, and was just trying to get back in the swing of things. Alrighty, probably should use a little more conditioner than this, but we'll start here. Alrighty, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of conditioner. I haven't flat ironed my hair in about a good three years, I believe it has been. So I decided to do something different for Christmas this year. I'll be going right back to my protective styles. So I like to keep the hair protected when, you know, I have it in its natural state. So it's taken a while to fully curl up, but only the beginning. Sorry about the lighting. I have a little window in here and it's definitely going in and out. So the sun is passing through. Oh, look at that. It's starting to curl up. Ah, we see the curls coming through, which I live in Florida. So the curls were always coming through. I definitely was seeing that my hair was starting to curl up around the edges and I'm like, oh my gosh. It got to a point where I was trying to use edge control, but it wasn't working anymore. So knew it was time to let this thing go. Okay, curling up. That's exciting to see. Probably need some more conditioner in the back. Come on, baby. It's getting there. Okay. Okay. Need a lot more in the back. So I hope everyone is enjoying their new year. I'm just thanking God for all that he has done still alive made it to see another year and oh also i recently got engaged uh close to christmas a few weeks before christmas it was it was just awesome and i don't have my ring right now as it's being resized it was a little big so we had to send it for resizing and yeah, that's the only exciting thing that happened. Also had my first trip to California. That was pretty exciting too. Was able to uh, see San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles for the first time. So definitely would like to take more trips and stuff and now we'll be planning for you know having a wedding so gotta take that into consideration also so i'm very excited at at this new year i could see it will be a great one already all right we're seeing the curls come through slowly it's getting there 
I was really missing my hair. So definitely a great option if you feel like you want to go back to a perm. I definitely say, you know, try a flat iron first. See if you really want that straight hair life. Because who knows, maybe you just will have a little flat iron, miss your hair, and then come right back to it being curly again. Wow. One thing I could say with the flat iron, it definitely was a lot easier to do my hair. Because all I did at night was wrap it and put it into a bun. So I'll be right back to probably staying up late. <laughs> making sure it's all twisted and ready for work the next morning. I work in a hospital setting. So, however, I'm not face to face with the patients or anything. So, um, you know, I still keep my hair protected and now just have to make sure I have that extra time to do my hair before I go to sleep. So I can look good the next morning. Wow. Look at it. I haven't seen it in a month and every time you see it curly again you're like ah brand new hair even though you've had it I had it for like seven years almost funny but yeah all right so this side looks pretty done I don't see any heat damage which the first day I had gotten it done my fiance and I went to Disney Springs and living in Florida, the humidity gets to your hair pretty quickly. So the same night it was done, my hair was already frizzy. I'll probably insert some pictures so you could see how frizzy it got on the first day. So I decided to do a I don't know what you would call it, probably something you're not supposed to do where you go and purchase a flat iron. Because I, when I first went natural, I gave my flat iron away because I was like, I'm not flat ironing my hair. I don't want any heat. And when I got my hair done, went to Disney Springs, that first day started frizzing up. So I went right to Walmart, purchased a nice little Revlon flat iron. And um, even though my hair was done that day, that night after we came back in, I went and flat ironed my hair again. Just, I passed through with the flat iron once because I was like, I don't wanna lose this flat iron that I just got done and I paid for it. So I'm just happy to see that the hair is reverting because I was like, oh, that's crazy amount of heat in one day. However, my hairstylist is very good about what she does. So that plus, uh, myself just passing the flat iron through once or twice. I wasn't really worried. So Plus I hardly use any heat um, My main styles are curl formers and I do it the heatless way whenever I do do my hair. I wash my hair about uh, Once every two or three weeks because it's getting so long now I don't have time to constantly wash my hair every week. So I know it's minimal heat the last time I did a flat iron was December 2016. Yeah, December 2016. And this next flat iron was December 2018. So I wasn't really worried. As long as you take care of your hair, it can take heat every once in a while. That's how I feel. You know, everyone is different to each their own. But if you don't do a lot of heat that's very good your hair is definitely healthy I can say that the natural journey is getting easier for me it took a while getting acquainted with it because you're you're all over the place and um, you're learning new things and then your hair changes with the seasons well I don't know if yours does but mine does I can tell it starts getting a little bit more drier um, as the season is transitioning from the summer to winter. No, uh, fall, fall my hair is a little more drier. It's actually a little better in winter. It's actually more moisturized, I should say. Easier to maintain for some reason. 
I guess because it's cooler and your follicles close. Oh, we're seeing the curls coming through. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Keep my fingers crossed that I didn't do any heat damage, which I don't think so. Okay, it's coming. Oh, look at my curls, I miss them. Ah, it only takes a, a month and a few weeks for me to miss my curls. So I, you know, they say never say never, but one thing I can say, I am never getting a perm. I just, I love my hair, my natural hair. I miss it. We bond. We've been through so much together and I had to do so much to get this thing to love me back. And then now that it loves me and we're growing in the right direction, I'm just happy and it's happy too. So, alrighty, it's coming y'all. Just waiting for it to shrink up more. And then I know it's really happy. The more shrinkage, the better. Cause see, I need more conditioner in the back. Yeah, so this is the first video in our new home. Closed on this home and was just getting Everything sorted out and used to being here before making another video. So hopefully I'll be able to put up more content and stuff. Other great ideas coming up. Got that whole section back there. It definitely needs more conditioner. I was, um, the back of the hair I noticed was straighter. I don't know if it's because the humidity was touching the top. But I was like, crap, I hope I didn't like flat iron the crap out of the back when I went over it again. But nope, it's curling up, so still good. Okay, let's put some more conditioner back there. This would be such a pretty wash and go. However, I don't do wash and goes because my hair doesn't like it for some reason. I get tangles like crazy. I get those fairy knots. So I, in the six and a half years, almost seven years of being natural, I've done a wash and go maybe once or twice. I don't really care for them too much. My hair doesn't like being out past two, two or three days. I start noticing it starts to feel dry because I have, I naturally have high porosity hair where you can use a whole bunch of product and the hair will just disappear the product will disappear out of your hair like you never put anything in there my hair is like this and I noticed my mom's hair is like that too just naturally high porous hair so when it's like that it doesn't like to be left out too much it dries up pretty quickly so what I'm gonna do since it's been out I've been having fun with this thing for a whole month what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wash this out, get my hair all good and conditioned, shampooed, cleaned. I'm gonna do a curl former set. Um, I normally do a hairstyle where you pull it back into a bun. I got that hairstyle from Natural85, love her so much. I'll probably insert pictures of my hair when it's done. Pull it into a bun for probably two or three days. Uh, twist it up because I won't be keeping this thing out at all. Um, after that hairstyle, uh, keep it in for, for about a week. Then I'll transition to mini twist. And I'm going to keep it like that for a month. Just because I had so much fun with my hair this past week, past month, it's been out. And I just have to make sure I do damage control. Because, yeah, it looks so pretty when it's out, but then I, I don't want to sacrifice any length retention. So, this is the hair. It came back, and I'm happy, and it looks good. Was a little worried and stuff, and, yeah, my curls are here. So, it's happy. I'm happy. We're happy. So, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Be safe. Be blessed. Um, you know, just continue to make great memories with your family and loved ones and may God richly bless you for 2019. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.